Hey guys, how's it going? Dutchman Games here. Today we are going to work more on the RPG game system and we're going to add uh, weapons to our character so that they can equip different weapons. Um, this is completely solo, so you know, you don't have to have followed the previous videos. If, if you're new and you just want to know how to add weapons to your character that you can like swap between them, um, this is all uh, in here. So. You don't have to follow the previous videos to do this and it's actually quite a simple system so it's completely standalone so you don't have to follow the previous videos to uh, to actually make this work um, so what we're going to need is we're going to have to open the inventory system and we're have to going to have to open the third person character system and if you don't have an inventory system you don't need this it's just uh, to make it work for us because we're going to add something uh, onto here so first of all, just grab this uh, the image or grab a new image and uh, I'll just make it look the same this is or change it the way you want. But just make a new image and place it somewhere in your view box, wherever you want it to be. Uh, for us it's going to be right here. And then we are going to add a text box. So just a text right here. And then this text is going to say um, weapon, right? And you can make this as, as crazy as you want. You can add weapons, you can add helmets, you can add rings, you can add, you can make a whole uh, like, you know, body where all the different parts, uh, like in Diablo, for example, you can do all that with this, but we're just going to keep it simple for now. So we are going to add a button and it's going to look like this so I'm just going to copy this uh, but if you are new in this uh, system you can just add a button and then change the style right here to wherever you want it to look like and this is going to be the size so the reason why I'm doing it like this is because under here I want a description so we're going to add another text which is going to go here and this will be the Weapon descri uh, description, right? So that's gonna stay right there, and then anchor it to the left side panel, like everything else. So now what we got to do is we have to link this button to a third-person character uh, value, in this case a variable, and this variable is going to be a integer and it's going to say weapon equip and this weapon equip has a value the value 0 is no weapon value 1 is a different weapon value 2 is a different weapon value 3 is a different weapon and in this case we're going to do the same thing we did in the other episodes where it's a unclicked event and then unclicked it will uh, no it's actually not a unclicked event um, it, it will be a uh, event tick where it looks through the value of the uh, the slot essentially so what we have to do is we have to go to third person character we have to compile this first and then we have to grab from this third person character we have to grab weapon equip and then from here we have to go to a uh, switch on int and then I have to draw it like this but if you are doing this without the video beforehand you can just grab make an event tick or make a custom event and then run it that way and then we're just going to have three weapons so what you want to do is you want to get the uh, the uh, button which is this one so let's actually name the button because it doesn't have a name weapon equipped so you grab the button weapon equipped you get it and then you say set style and then in here you can change the style of it so you can make three of these because we have three different weapons you can like make as much many weapons as you want to make of course and then the styles we'll have to make so we're going to make three styles this will be a staff 
uh, no, this will be uh, no weapon. And then we actually already have that style, which is empty. So we don't even have to make that. So let's make a sword. And we will make a, uh, a staff. So staff and a sword. And then the, this one will be the empty style. So there we go. And then the sword one, we can change it down here. We can change what it actually looks like. So I don't know if we have a sword icon. We don't really. So let's just keep it as a claw. And the staff one, we'll keep as a claw. Uh, well, we'll actually change that a little so we know it's a different thing. We'll keep it as a dark item or. So actually, I don't I don't have these assets yet, so I have to make them. But for now, they're placeholders. So now we have a system that dictates whether or not we have something set there, and the standard value is zero. So if we play now, we open our inventory, it will have be nothing, right? Because we don't have a weapon equipped. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to find a way to well get a weapon equipped which we can do through for example an item that we can find and then we need the logic to show that item in here and then also change the value of weapon equip now how we're going to do that is as follows first we're going to add a static mesh in our character and this static mesh is going to be the sword mesh and so you know make it iron sword something I made and then in this case we want it to be in the mesh and we want it to have a parent socket of right hand and then we want to place it correctly so first go to the character and pause the animation and then it's a little too big but put it in the right hand where it looks good so in this case we're gonna have to make it s uh, quite a bit smaller 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 I think that's about right and we also have to somehow get it to actually kind of fit in the hand and get to kind of play with that a little because the sword has a weird standard angle uh, it's kind of hard to actually put it in his hand but you know we can all always make this look better later and then turn off the snap so you can actually move it a little bit better there we go that's about right so now we have a weapon and now we want to go to collision we want to say no collision Otherwise, it's the character's going to freak out. And now we want to change the, the animation to unpause. And now we have a weapon in our hands. So when we walk, you can see the weapon. It's a little dark uh, for some reason, uh, but you can see the weapon, and it looks pretty cool. So now that that's set up, we will make the weapon uh, invisible. By unticking, by unticking the visible one, and then in the uh, character, we'll make a custom event, custom event, which says uh, sword equip, and this custom event will set the weapon equip to one, which is the sword, and then it will also uh, take the sword mesh, set visibility. To visible and then if you have another mesh so let's say we also have a staff we need to make sure that 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 visibility gets turned to uh, to off so only show the sword so that's kind of like logical but you need to make sure that actually works um, if you want there also to be stats to change so for example maybe it will give uh, you some vitality then you can add that here as well so then we can say for example um, set vitality plus whatever but then 
you have to make sure that if you equip a different weapon then that vitality gets you know taken off and so there it's it's a little complex when you want to do it like that but you have to you could also add stats for now we're not going to do that but later we will so this is how you can add the sword to the character uh, so now we need something to trigger that so let's go to our uh, item which is inventory system item and then duplicate this and then we say BP sword pickup and then uh, we just remove all this except the caster character and then this will say uh, equip it will, it will say sword equip and then there will be a sound sound 2D which is uh, pickup I don't know if there is a sound for this let's just uh, make uh, elven hit and then there's going to be a text pop up which uh, we should have somewhere how that's set up but I think it's just uh, create widget from class and then it was I believe it was uh, no it was a message I think or shoot what was it notification and then set text or get get text and then set text there we go <laughs> and then add the viewport and then we can add the viewport so in this case it's uh, pick it up uh, picked up a sword and now when you oh and then also uh, destroy actor so now when you pick up this thing which obviously will change this to uh, the sword and then we'll make it a bit bigger so now when you uh, pick up the sword so let's actually uh, spawn here pick this up we actually have the sword in our hands and then if we go to the inventory we can see that here's the sword and then uh, in the text blocks the only thing we need to do now we need to go to the uh, text block here and we need to go to the content and then we need to go to create binding get uh, get third uh, cast to third person character sorry I forgot it there for a minute get player oh get player character and then here we need to say set or uh, we need to get equip weapon equip and then uh, on int so we need to get a switch switch on int and then there were three of them and then we need a few return nodes so the first one will be uh, iron sword or just say sword gives some attack bonus for example and this could be staff gives mana bonus and then this one could be uh, Epic staff gives high mana bonus. I'm just I'm just making stuff up here, obviously because I haven't set these up. But now, what happens is when we so here we see nothing. Oh, we actually see something. That's weird. Oh, because it's on zero. Jeez, I'm tripping. Uh, so we need this one needs to go here. This one needs to go there. And then this one needs to go there, and then no weapon equipped. And then also let's make it a little bit smaller. So let's make the font like 13 or 15, 20, yeah. So now when we, when we look, there's no weapon equipped. And then when we pick it up, 
uh, sword gives some attack bonus. So now we have a weapon system. We have a weapon that we can walk around with, we can show off uh, that works on our character. And it's set in our inventory system. Now you could also, for example, uh, set the weapon as a pickup in these uh, in, in item pickups. But something that this system does not allow is for you to uh, to pick something up for now at least is to pick something up and then you know drop it or whatever so what we can do for example in the next episode we can work on if you click on this it will actually drop the weapon you actually have equipped right now and then you can pick something up uh, in, in the next time um, so yeah but this is a very simple system to show a weapon and to actually have a weapon equipped so hope you guys enjoyed this short episode um, and in the next episode we will work more on getting this system fleshed out so we'll add all the other weapons and we will make a drop system so you can click on it and then drop it so you can pick something else up also means that if the value is not zero and you pick up a new a new weapon um, it will it will say you can't pick it up because the value is not zero right or because the value yeah because the value is not zero so we could actually do that really quickly because it's a very simple system. So what that would be is we could say uh, branch, uh, make a branch from here and then get the weapon equip equal to zero. Then it will do that. If it's not, then it will make a notification where it will say you don't have space first drop your current weapon so this way it will actually so let's say we have two of these pick this one up and you want to pick this one up and it doesn't work and it's overlapping but it, it doesn't work because you don't have space and you have to first drop your current weapon and then when we click on this, it could drop. Uh, so and so we could also, uh, yeah, we'll do that another time because we need to have all the all the weapons. It'll take a bit to make that. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, I think I think it's getting along. I think it's coming along. Uh, I still have to off screen. I still have to add all these items to the systems and make everything work right. Uh, I've been busy. In the last few weeks so uh, I had to make a new uh, episode because I do want to keep this on track but it still is going to take quite some time to set everything up the way I want it to be and then once that's all set up and we have the equipable system and it gives stats and that all works uh, we will work on enemies and uh, that's gonna be hell of a hell of an episode because enemies are quite uh, intricate and um, and then once we have that, we are going to uh, to work more on the level design and fleshing it out and maybe getting a build out there so you guys can play it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, a quick, um, also a quick message to people who are asking if I can share the files. Uh, I can't. Uh, the reason why is because all these assets, some of them are bought assets. So these, these are, for example, free. Um... Some of these assets are my own, but there's also some bot assets. And the thing is, um, even if the assets are free, you're not allowed to share the assets outside of the platform. So if I were to send this whole product project to you guys, so you guys can play with it, um, that would not be okay because of all these assets that are in here, because I'm not allowed to ship them out to, to uh, people online that don't have the licenses for these assets even if they're free so i just want to get that out there um uh, i would love to do it but i am not allowed to <laughs> um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers